So Christian Rose, Keith Lipinski, AAW News, congratulations, your first big win tonight in <sighs> AAW. Smoked so, him, less than four minutes, man. I am a machine. And of course, you uh, later on you got involved with the lovely Mischief. Lovely, right? Not, not so much anymore. She's got that footprint on her face now, so. But it's not my fault. See, I had to do that for Mischief. I had to do that to Mischief tonight. I had to do what I did to Merrick Brave last time I was around here. I had to save them. I had to save them from those people. It's mischief and Merrick Brave, they're not, they're not loved or respected. It's nostalgia. Nostalgia's, nostalgia is a lie. I'm just trying to be an honest man. I'm not the bad guy here. Think about all the stuff that you loved when you were a kid. If you really think about it, it's not that great. It's just nostalgia. You're just lying to yourself. You're being dishonest. You're not being real. And me, I'm the reality of pro wrestling. And the reality is, I'm going to make AAW better than it's ever been. I'm going to knock all the cobwebs out because I am a one-man renaissance. I am a one-man revolution. I am the evolution of AAW. And you have to evolve or die. Oh, come on! I told you I'd be here, Rose! Ah, come on! Yeah! Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. AAW. This is professional wrestling redefined. Wrestling fans, welcome to AAW Day of Defiance. I'm Phil Coleman alongside my partner Dave Prezak. What's up there? Another, another hot crowd here tonight in Berwyn. Lovely May evening here in Chicago. We're going to start off with tag team action. Zero gravity against Fontaine and Linden. Two very exciting duos. Lewis Linden, one of the uh, most athletically gifted professional wrestlers on the AAW roster. And of course, Zero Gravity, the fastest and the most high flying. Tag team division heating up here in AAW. And Fontaine has the mustache. Didn't want to leave him out, you know. We actually saw these, these four men team last month in Arlington Heights at the home bar as they took out Irish Airborne and the Monster Mafia. And now they have to go at and see who moves up the rankings. Should be a very exciting contest. It'll be CJ Esparza and Lewis Linden starting out. You know, every tag team on the roster wants an opportunity to challenge for the AAW Tag Team Championship in the future. So this is a very important match in terms of their standing. Oh, the, the Jungle Cat break Ikea coming off the top there. Double boots by Zero G. Double whips reverse now. Off the ropes they go, arm dragging. A pair of them. Action all over here. All four men on their feet. We indeed are at a stalemate. So much going on here tonight, Mr. Prezak. Like I said, another great crowd in Berwyn. Forum shot by Lewis. There's that unorthodox style of Lewis Linden coming into play. Looking for a sunset flip. No, finds his feet off the far side now. Teamwork here from Zero Gravity. Nicely done. In comes the stash. Ready they go. It was nice swinging neck breaker there by Gaikia. Twisting plancha. Zero Gravity looking very good here in the early going. Cover. 
Well, I would have to think that zero gravity has has the experience advantage as far as teaming together. I mean, Lyndon and Fontaine just been together for a few short months. Of course, Fontaine was a member of the North Stash Express with Darren Corbin. That team had to absolve after their loss to the We Are Here faction back here a couple months ago. See, they've been here for a while, faction. They have. Oh, there's a kick from Fontaine commentating his own match. That's our that's our gig, buddy. This Finley roll now. Right into the tag, in comes Linden. But first, some double team work. Rolling him back to a standing position. Oh, and a double drop kick, Ikea. Rock and roll. Ikea in some trouble. And Mini Alvarez is out at two. He does look quite like Brian Alvarez of Figure Four Online. That'd be awesome if Esparza looked like Dave Meltzer. I know. I saw the New York Times did a story on Dave Meltzer's career with a picture of his office. I saw that. A lot of paper. Lots of paper everywhere. Doesn't he know we live in a paperless world? <laughs> I'm surprised he doesn't use a typewriter still. Waist lock here from Linden going for the O'Connor roll. Nice block there from CJ. Goes underneath. Oh, and he eats the knee coming in. Full momentum there. Oh, out of nowhere. Beautiful. This almost. Lewis Linden, he'll come at you from anywhere. Yeah, he almost had him right there after that brutal kick. Kick to the lever. Peace. Tag Speaking of lever head. kicks, we have a mixed martial arts specialist here tonight. Oh, I'm looking forward to... Is it the AAW debut of mixed martial Archie? It certainly is. Yes. And rumor has it he's about to call out Davey Richards here tonight. Yeah, Very interesting. Richards has that MMA style influence to his professional wrestling style. I mean, mixed martial Archie might have his number. We'll see later on tonight. Right now, it's CJ Esparza trying to get back to his corner. That training video better be an extra on the DVD. Big scoop and a slam here from Fontaine. We tag into Lewis. Lend him back in now. Snapmare. Off the ropes he goes! Oh, takes him out with both feet right upside his head. Not enough. Also tonight, a big tag team match. Michael Elgin and ACH, the two champions here in AAW, taking on Team Ambition. Richards Team Ambition, B-I-T-C-H-I-N, apostrophe. I'm bitching. <laughs> Oh, now. Teamwork here. They get here, double suplex possibly. Indeed. Covering. BJ Johnson right on top of the action there. Colt Cabana back in the house here at AAW tonight. Always a good time when Cabana's around. Gonna be a pack night of action. That is for sure. Now CJ hits the ropes. Uh-oh. T. Baggery. Delay German suplex with the bridge. Ooh, very close. The last split second, Gakia broke up that pin. Eats a kick there. I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with, with Lyndon and Fontaine. They've slowed the pace, they've cut off the ring. They've done everything they need to do thus far. Yeah, they might not have the uh, experience as a tag team unit that Zero Gravity does have, but they have proven on more than one occasion they're a top team here in the tag team division. Misdirection there, Esparza up top. Oh, and he finds the DDT, spikes Fontaine. One on one for the moment here. Full Nelson here from Linden. Broken. Esparza back into Gaikia. Here we go. Huge missile drop kick from Brett. Linden back on his feet, but here comes Gakia. Oh, right spinning now. elbow. Wow. Runs Shot. into a waist lock. A high knee right there from Linden. Looking to follow up now. Gakia rolls underneath. Oh, rides him down, kips up. Like a double knee fez press. Now it's Gaikia looking for a tag. Yeah, both, both men need to make a tag here. I think it was that knee that did the damage. 
Maybe affecting the vision a little bit as you see Gaikia get the tag as he holds his eye there. Both teams able to make the tag. Esparza and Fontaine. Electric chair there momentarily. E. Oh, rolls him through. Wasn't pretty, but he got the near fall. Let's do it again. Landing on his feet. Come on. Precarious position there. Out to the floor goes Fontaine. But here comes Esparza! Flying over the top and wiping him out on the floor. Huge dive. Gakia maybe needs to look out for Linden. Oh, Gakia, he must have heard me. Yeah, he, he was just waiting for him to take that chance. Cut him off before Linden could do any damage with the dive. Zero G thinking here. The assistant moonsault. Gets it. Fontaine back in. Sunset flip. No. Oh, and the double super kick. Flippy cup. Hit it perfectly. Oh, I thought he had it. Linden diving in to make the save right there. Fast-paced action here in our opening contest. Day of Defiance. Linden getting fired up here with these strikes. Catches the boot. Catches the boot. Oh! Oh, hard round kick. Caught that boot upside the head. Hard right hand from Esparza really bringing it. Oh! Shoot. oh. Super kick! Pump kick! Springboard moonsault! Gets it! Five. One! Could he get two. him? He got him! Wow! Prezak, I would have to call that an upset. A huge win! Fontaine and Linden with a huge win here. Moving themselves right into title contention in the tag team division. Ah! <laughs> the thing about that, Tubby. Oh, look at that fat prick right there. Can we say prick? Are we allowed to say Are prick? Are we allowed to say prick? Oh, come on. Let's what, what, go. What, what happened? What? what do you think just happened? Who do you think is laying over there right now? Is that, is that Cannon? That's Eric Cannon. Eric Cannon? You spit beer into my face, you get beat down. See you next month, buddy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to announce that unfortunately on the show tonight, Christian Rose will not be able to join us as a result of being attacked last month after our show by Merrick Brave. AAW is taking some actions to apologize to Christian and also to assure everybody that Merrick who lost a Loser Leaves Town match several years ago, will not be allowed to be here in AAW unless he has, in fact, actually purchased a ticket. Uh, there's been a lot of concerns in AAW, especially after recent numerous uh, parking lot attacks, that we need to beef up security yeah. so that we yeah. can... Yeah. Yeah. Where's actually everyone Where's actually everyone they're, they're not here. They're not here? No, they're, they're, not not here. here. they're not here. They're they not know, here. They had no problem being there during that beautiful moment when Eric Cannon and I finally drank beer together after Years of conflict, you were there. Years of conflict. We shared this beautiful moment. You know what, there's not a whole lot of beautiful moments in wrestling anymore, but me and Eric Cannon sharing a PBR together, that was beautiful, special. They had no problem being there, but they're not here tonight. Is that, where are your boys at? Ain't here? That's bogus, dog. Well, Jake is here. Jake's here. Jake why Chris Why don't you say something in the first place, dog? Do you have any authority in this place? Surprisingly, I do. Surprisingly, you do. Well, in that case, me and Jake tonight, make it. All right, Jay Christ, Jimmy Jacobs, tonight. And here we go, fans. Dave Prezak, a little something you know uh, a lot about is uh, women's no. wrestling, and here we go. Chicks can't wrestle, are you kidding? Miss Natural, the daughter of, of Ken Patera, taking on strong Heidi Lovelace here. Ken Patera. She looks like a strong young lady in her own right there. 
Heidi Lovelace, we've seen her before in AAW. She was Very part of the fighting. part of the big trios tag match back in April. That's right. Also gave Mischief a run for her money. No idea when we're going to see Mischief again after getting uh, her head taken off by Christian Rose last month. Jeez. Got to send our best to Mischief. But AAW continuing with the women's division here tonight. As they should. I was kidding about the women can't wrestle thing. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much an example of a veteran of professional wrestling taking on a newcomer to the sport. It's natural. It's been wrestling, uh, I think, about 12 years now. Wow. Something in that neighborhood. While Heidi Lovelace, uh, about two years of experience, maybe a little bit less. Trained by Billy Rock in the northern Indiana region. But has uh, really expanded. She, she's appeared for Shimmer. She's uh, appeared for Ohio Valley Wrestling in the uh, Louisville, Kentucky area. I believe she's actually a former OVW champion. Very impressive. And Lovelace has shown a lot of heart in her matches here in AAW, and sometimes wrestling is, in fact, heart. Yes. Wrestles for them as well. Those are the, the Billy Rock shows in Lafayette. Nice not nice scissor there. Not only Kempatera, but uh, Natural also spent some time training under Harley Race. Uh, at his facility. Not bad company to be training with, Definitely. that's for sure. So she has the tools to uh, dictate the pace of this match against a wrestler who is newer to the industry. Trying to escape the head scissors here is Heidi. Trying to peek out there. Able to She's free herself. Home. Grabs the headlock. Nice move from Loveless. So we've seen Nevea in action here in AAW women's competition. Christina Von Eri, Athena. Taylor Made. Taylor Made. I think right now, so much impressive ladies' talent in AAW. And not only AAW, but across the country, as you all know. Crisscross. We'll make you jump, jump. Knee to the midsection, headlock takeover. See, that's the veteran experience of Miss Natural coming into play. Side headlock takeover. A lot of mat based stuff here thus far. Coming back up, another headlock takeover here from Natural. I kind of feel like I'm watching Tough Enough, that L Snow <laughs> season. Let's do some drop downs. Let's do some Hindu squats. Well, Heidi Lovelace showing that she is more than prepared wow. for her opponent here tonight. Looking very good right now. Gets the arm drag. There's the first significant blow of this match was that drop kick, and it hit home. Off the rope she goes now. Tilt the world head scissor, nicely done, and Lovelace on fire. Sends Natural all the way to the floor. I wonder what she keeps in her pockets. In those tights. Did the referee check the pockets for weapons? I, I think they might be painted out. I'm have to ask her about that. Patera taking a T.O. Lovelace might want to get out there after her here. Well, yeah. this is the uh, rookie mistake of Heidi allowing Miss Natural to uh, buy herself some time on the floor. There's no timeouts in pro wrestling. She's letting her recuperate here. If I was Heidi, I'd be out on that floor bringing her back inside the ring. Fans getting behind Lovelace there. Can't afford to waste time here. Finally, she goes up and got caught in a bad position here. Wheelbarrow. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Onto the barricade. Wow. Sweet Virgin Mary. That's what I'm going to say for the ladies. <laughs> Jeebus for the men. Yes. Sweet Virgin Mary for the ladies. Yeah, you'd think that uh, Heidi wouldn't be in quite as much pain right now if she would have immediately gone to the floor to try to bring Patera back inside the ring. That was one of those chops where it just hits with a thud. No slap, just a resounding thud. It hurts just as much as the loud sounding ones. And again, a clubbing blow. Sometimes even more. I'm going to ram her back into the apron and there's no give there, fans. We've talked about it many times, but that's just basically wood. Just the ring frame. Wood and metal. Yes. Yo, Patera really sucking her into this position Ooh, out there. Wow. Right into the ring post. And Patera showing a ruthless side, much like her old man hat back in the, in the mid-70s through the early 80s. 
Well, this is what ex what uh, Natural needed to do, dictate the pace of the matchup. She knows that she's the one with the most experience here, and all she had to do was slow down Lovelace and just start to put the beating on her, and that's exactly what she's doing right now. Well, this thing about Patera's experience, not even since she started, oh, nice suplex. Not even since she started training, but I mean, you're looking at a girl who grew up maybe with a Bobby Heenan or a King Kong Bundy right. coming over for dinner, plotting evil strategies. <laughs> Over some turkey legs. That'd be awesome. You know, she's been around the business literally her entire life. Yep. Nice Heidi fart. trying to mount some offense, but easier said than done. Right hands. Nothing fancy about that. Lovely's taking a pounding here. Showing it was an open hand. Even if it was a closed fist, anything goes in AAW. Oh, nice shot back there, the abdomen. Now Lovelace gonna deliver some punishment. Oh. I'll tell you what, the fans really getting into it here as Lovelace uh, dishing some of it back. Reversal of the Irish whip here. Went for a Thez press, ill-advised. Too much power from Miss Natural. How often do we see the bear hug in independent professional wrestling Not in 2013? Often. Not often enough. But we're seeing it from natural. Probably a lot of freaks in the uh, audience that would pay good money to get that maneuver applied to them by Miss Natural. I'd like to see the swinging Cole Nelson out of Miss Patera here this evening. Oh, sunset flip. Oh, Axe Bomber! You heard her shout Axe Bomber as she threw that. Tremendous. Close line there. My goodness. She needs to get the cover here. Turns her over. She doesn't hook the leg. Oh, she does no, she now. Did. Not enough to keep Heidi down. She's a very determined young wrestler to make her way in the industry. That's what we were talking about earlier, the heart of this young Heidi Lovelace. Wrestling is Heidi. Wrestling is Lafayette. Tarek picks her up off the mat now. Another forearm shot. Oh, and a <laughs> shot. <laughs> Stomach chop, yes. <laughs> Series of forearms here from Heidi. As we're back in the corner. Ooh, ooh, nice kick. To the armpit almost there. That'll slow down those forearms. Revolutionary strategy. Oh, she hit hard. My goodness. Back first into the turnbuckle with great momentum. Tara with the cover. Hooks both legs to keep her away from the ropes right there, but Heidi's still able to kick out and get that shoulder up. I gotta say, Patera, a little slow going into those pinning combinations and grabbing that leg on two occasions now. I think maybe if she got right on her and hooked her in, she might have the three count. She's going for something big here. She's doing the universal Thumb over the throat. Going for that natural disaster. It's a fisherman's neck breaker. Oh, no, it is not. But it countered by Heidi, and now a flurry of strikes here. I like how she was going downstairs and mixing it up there. Clothesline from Heidi, who's firing up here. Getting a burst of adrenaline. Nice. Takes Changing natural levels. down to a knee. Oh, boy. Who needs it? Am I right? She just leveled up. Yep. So did half the guys in the crowd. She didn't let it fluster her. She just continues to kick away on her opponent. Who needs gear? Yeah, right? exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh! Went for the shining wizard. Or the sorceress. <laughs> yes! Oh, Swinging yeah. full Nelson! There it is! Tremendous! Bam! Oh, right into a slam! That's gotta be it! Brute strength! And it is! Tremendous! Excellent women's match there. Well, that was... Ladies and gentlemen, yeah! I am the TV Super Duper King Kong Mega Mega Managerial Sensation and Life Intervention Expert, a.k.a. the Punani Predator, Truth Martini, and welcome to Hoopla on Cut. And that is love, pain, 
and Hoopla! Now, hey, hey guys, what do you think about that last women's match right here? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. When I watched Miss Natural Russell, all of a sudden I had the urge to drink some grade A homogenized vitamin D milk. <laughs> So much. I'm kind of not into a girl that has a body of a 12 year old boy. What was he talking about? The milk. I don't get it. <laughs> I like milk. Chocolate. Now, strawberry. On a serious note, you might notice that I do not have my hoopla hotties out here tonight. I know, right? But it was for their protection because the guest for tonight is a man I hate. A man that we have had. History. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest for tonight, making his return after one year gone from AAW, I present to you Joey Easton. I remember it well. No love lost here. Between arguably two of the most prolific managers in the company's history. Present yeah. company notwithstanding. I suck. It's sort of a pleasure to have you here at Hoop Line Cut. I'd like to say welcome, and I know we have a long history. I mean, there was one point in time that we were literally trying to kill each other. But I say we should put that behind us because, let's be serious, for the past year, it does look like we've grown up to be mature civil men. Yep. Sure. But I'm sure I'm going to ask the question that all the fans want to know is, what have you been up to in the past year? Zubas! Yeah! <laughs> he owns stock in Zubas now! <laughs> Cameraman! Zoo! Zoo! <laughs> Honestly, Truth Martini, I have grown up. I have a real job now. I have a real life. I know it sucks. show. Every time I'm on Facebook and there's an AW show, I miss the hell out of each and every one of you. All right, I'm going to stop you right now before you put everybody to sleep, Joey. So anyway. Now, again, I am going to give your dues. I mean, you were a great manager. Very great. And the reaction you got when you came out totally shows that you're incredible, but you are nowhere in the league as Truth Martini. Now when people mention Truth Martini, they mention me in the same categories as other greats of, of all the managers, guys like Jimmy Hart, guys like Bobby the Brain Heenan, guys like Jim Cornette, and probably the greatest manager of all time, the late, great Paul Bear. That's right. But what happened there was, now I am the greatest manager of the world because Paul Bear is dead and I'm alive and kicking. Uh-oh. Who the hell? Are truth. You sit here and you talk crap about guys that came before you. You're making a living because of them. You're the kind of guy you you, you suck, Truth Martini. You're freaking. You're, you do so much. You're so good, but it's your head. It's your head that sucks because you're an asshole. Uh oh. I'm not a wrestler anymore, Truth. I never was a wrestler. 
wrestler? Actually, what the hell am I talking about? You're not a wrestler. You're a manager. I used to be a manager. How about this? Let's do it like a couple of men, Truth. Table. Chairs. Let's have a good old-fashioned arm wrestling match. Yeah! Oh, good idea. He's been laying down the gauntlet. Somebody back there's gonna have a table. There's gonna be chairs because there's none empty out here. Come on, guys, please get a referee. I wow. want, I want an arm wrestling match. I know that I can beat him. It's the only way to settle things. He's it's, gonna, either, it's either that or a thumb war. He's gonna go over the top. It's what he's gonna do. Declare a thumb war. Here oh. comes the table and chairs. Joey, that's a what table. Failed to realize is this. In chapter three of the Book of Truth, states Truth Martini's credentials. In 1993, yours truly, Truth Martini, was the Detroit, Michigan amateur arm wrestling champion. Wow, that's a fun fact. So after this arm wrestling match, you are going to look like nothing but an embarrassed fool. Let's do this, Joey Eastman. Here we go. I admittedly do not know much about the ins and outs of arm wrestling. Neither do I. I bet you they go to hook up and one guy doesn't like it and they break yeah, up. Yeah. At least three or four times. I remember Tony Atlas and Vinny Vegas battling in an arm wrestling competition on, I believe it was a Clash of the Champions. PJ Drummond in there to check the grip. Looks like they're hooked. Two. He's, I knew it. He's I knew not it. ready, apparently. And he's he's gotta, the, the jumping jacks first. He's got to do some calisthenics. I got to think this is all head games here from Truth. All right, here we go. We're locked up. Needs to stretch. And here we go. Third time's a charm. Perhaps. Now Eastman, we're gonna be here all night. Uh, I think we have to be out of the building around 11:30-ish. Does he have LA light sneakers on? I think I saw. They the are light lighting up. Yes. Wow. Wow. That's gangsta. Or something. It's definitely Joey Eastman. Twenty-sixth time is the charm. Counting down. Three, two, one. Here we go, and they're off to the races. Oh, Martini's got a distinct advantage. Come on, Eastman, over the top, over the top. He's trying his best. He's digging down. And a stalemate again. He's, He's almost fighting. got him. He's almost got him down. Here he comes. He's getting a second win. What? Is Whoa! Oh. Truth Martini. Um, you call that. I'm, I, I'm certainly not. It happened so quickly. There it is. It's official. Joey, Joey, Joey. Just like I told him before we started the arm wrestling contest. Now, you look like nothing but an embarrassed fool. He's like Christy Hemi with Austin oh! Aries. Oh! Double leg by Eastman! Just pounding away on truth! Referee's in to try to break this up. 
He's been getting him some of Martini here on the hoopla. He's got the book. Oh, the book shot. Martini always gets the last laugh. That book's got to have so many dents in it. Dropping knowledge on Eastman there, literally. Thank you for your time. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you on the next episode of Hoopla on Cut. <laughs> oh, and here we go. Sneak attack by Jacob Christ. Not wasting any time. Bringing the fight to Jimmy Jacobs here. Singles competition for one half of the Tag Team Champions. We heard Jacobs request this match from senior official PJ Drummond earlier after he saw that footage of Eric Cannon getting jumped after last month's show by the Airborne. Dave Christ out with an injury tonight. It's going to be one on one and Jacobs flies. Oh, just drove the back of Jake Christ into the barricade. I mean, you name it, Jimmy Jacobs has done it here in the Eagles Club. And he's had a career resurgence here in 2013 with this great match after great match. Win or lose, the fans really respect Jimmy Jacobs. Well, yeah, he's, he's a veteran of the ring. Not the biggest guy in the world, but he has the skills. Former Triple Crown winner here in AAW has held all the major titles. Trying to get back into title contention. Like I said, he's been looking great this year. He's in great shape. He's in a good place mentally. But Jacob Chris, no pushover for sure. Very tough guy. As you see there, as he re reverses him into the barricade. It's gotta be kind of kind of strange for Chris here. He's used to tag team competition. Definitely. And he was clutching his back right there before delivering the headbutt. Gotta wonder just how much damage was done with that dive. Brawling on the outside here. You know, Irish Airborne with that really rugged style. Earlier in their career, they were known as high flyers, risk takers. Then they, they like, decided, you know, we can just beat people up instead of doing flips. And it's worked out pretty well for That's them. That's why they're the tag team champions right now. I mean, they stopped caring about the cheers from the crowd a long time ago. Oh, good beat way to- Picasso. <laughs> Good way to tear a hamstring there on that barricade. Jeez. Jimmy Jacobs one step ahead of Jake Crest. Jacobs going into the crowd for some weaponry. Anything goes, man. And now decides to bring the action back inside. Comes Jacobs now head of steam. Cut off by Crest. Put the boots to him right on the top of the head there. On one action here, one half of the tag team champions, Jacob Christ, kicking away the chest. Fires him up there, runs him over the clothesline. Pounding away on the head of Jake Christ, got him in the corner now. Stomping him down here. Is there a mud hole as a result of the stomping? The ropes now, head of steam from Jacobs. Oh! Oh my goodness! Like a power slam into the turnbuckle. Jacobs immediately clutched that left knee. He's had knee problems for years now. I mean, you hear about athletes that need to go in for surgery, but they maybe stick it out for a season or a couple games Jimmy during James the playoffs. Jimmy James sticking it out for several years. Honestly, has needed surgery on his knee, but has that would mean taking months and months off of active wrestling and he can't afford to do it. He gets in that ring every single night, hurt. Deals with the pain. Chin breaker here, got it, breaks the hold. He landed so awkward on that throw, on his head and his leg. Oh! Got that boot right into the face. Full contact right there upside the chin. Jacob's checking for some blood there. Jacob Chris just loving the jeers from the fans. Could care less. A Russian leg sweep. Or Irish leg sweep, perhaps. Oh, he's gonna stretch him here. Had to worry about his own shoulders being against the canvas right there, but 
Jacobs in the submission predicament right now. Derek St. Holmes would know exactly what to call that. When in doubt, I call it the sugar. Where's Derek St. Holmes tonight? East Coast, working out at Gleason's with Johnny Rods. In the Bronx. In the Bronx. Jacobs hanging in there though, nowhere near the ropes to force an immediate break of the hold. Needs to fight his way out of it with knee strikes. Oh nice, right to the eardrum. That'll break it. Nice and chilly there from Jimmy. Runs off the rope. Well he can't really run, his knee. No. Looked like his knee went out when he tried to hit the ropes right there. That gave Chris just enough time to gather his thoughts and hit that elbow. Trying to wear Jacobs down, keep him off his feet. That's gonna hook that leg, smart move there. Trying to limit Jimmy's options of getting out of the hold here. The dueling chants go up here at the Berwyn Eagles Club. Oh, a big right hand. James going for the scoop slam. Gets it. Chris up against the ropes, trying to pull himself up, but no, oh. he was just luring Jacobs into that trap. Used the leverage, it took him to the outside. Gonna follow him out again here, to the far side. Right in front of some very bright clothing. What's he thinking here? Gonna suplex him on the floor. Oh! Back first on the edge of the ring frame. You know, in addition to the knee of Jimmy Jacobs, his back has always given him problems over the years as well. You gotta hand it to Jake Christ. He knows the weaknesses of his opponent. He certainly does, and now he's looking to pick him apart. Picks him up dead weight there. He's gonna try to... Like a tiger, tiger suplex on the apron? Certainly looked like he was going for just that. Super oh. kick to the side of the head. Oh, and the spear on the apron! Jacobs went for a big move and it paid off. Both men down. And they're both, more importantly, outside the ring. Jacobs needs to get him back inside and go for a cover here. That could have done a whole lot of damage to Jake Chris back. After that initial damage early in the match with that dive into the barricade. DJ Johnson checking on both competitors. Jacobs is up first. Got to bring him back in. Exactly what he's going to do. Head first into the turnbuckle. Jacobs looking to whip him across now. Reverse. Spear! Oh, and another spear! This time right in the center! Only two into the end time. Looking to choke him out right here. Can Chris hang in there or will he be forced to give it up? I can't tell from here if Jacobs has the hands locked or not. It appears he does, but Chris just powering up here. Good show of strength there by Chris. Ramming the back of Jacobs, heading to the turnbuckle pad. He's trying to free himself. Sunset flip attempt, he gets him. Nice counter by Jimmy. Springboard. Ace Crusher. Oh, I thought he had him. It was a nice maneuver. Jacob's thinking on his feet right there. Jacob's got all of that. Not quite enough. And here's where Chris would be maybe looking to make a tag to Dave. Yeah, not, not in this match. It's one-on-one -on -one here, just waiting for Chris to be back on his feet. Move from Jimmy's going for it. Contra code blocked. Headbutts. Trying to get the maneuver. No, Again, no, no. Chris blocks. Need of the kidneys. Oh, and he eats a super kick. Oh, and a spin wheel kick. Tiger, Tiger. suplex. Beautiful combo there from Chris. That was a picture perfect Tiger suplex with a bridge. But Jacob's still with enough to kick out. An excellent combo by Chris. Quite an excellent one on one encounter we are seeing here. There it is, the gesture. Gonna finish the job. Gonna put him away. 
He says him. it is the end of time. Up to the top he goes. Jimmy Jacobs is up. Takes away, on top. takes away his balance. What's he thinking? Pepsi plunge? That would be awesome. <laughs> Super Contra Code. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Oh, Jacobs hit hard right on his bean. Yeah, he, he hit hard. Went for a huge maneuver there. Back on his feet. Big right hand. Headbutt. Over superplex. Battle of attrition up there on the top. Chris just trying to get the advantage here. He's got a chain. Whoa, whoa. The hell did that come from? I don't know, but anything goes here in AAW. It's all at the referee's discretion. Pepsi plunge. Pepsi oh, plunge. Oh, I was kidding earlier. Wow! Unbelievable! Chris off the top! 10 minutes, 27 seconds. Your winner, Jacob Chris. That was busy. Introducing first to the corner to my left, he trains out of Finney's MMA with a fighting official record of two wins, zero losses, and zero draws. He weighed in this morning officially at 200. fans the matchup everyone's been been waiting to see for a number of years here mixed Marshall Archie and Davey Richards this is gonna be a unique contest Dave Prezak I'm looking forward to it I see some uh, representatives my, of the Athletic my, Commission oh yeah my prediction is that mixed Marshall Archie has Davey Richards number people always ask what will it what will it take to put away Davey Richards because he can take a superplex off the top rope and just get right back to his feet and suplex his opponent immediately thereafter. Well, here we go. We're going to find out. But I think that he has he has his number. Mixed Marshall Archie is going to make headlines tonight by putting away Davy Richards. Did you see the training video? It I was did. on YouTube. Oh. oh. No respect there from, from Mixed Marshall Archie. <laughs> that is how we do it in MMA. Now let's tie him up. Let's go! Come on! Archie with that unorthodox Muay Thai stance. The hunt is on. Archie known for a mix of strikes and uh, dangerous submissions. Starting off with a crescent kick. Here we go. Oh, leg kick! Yeah, he's in the driver's seat, man. Looking at the uh, commission, uh, the commission members who confirmed yes, that kick landed, and it was legal. John Spawn is he here? Actually, I think he passed away. Roundhouse kick to the body. Are we going by a point system? Archie I... two, Richards zero. I'm not sure that's how MMA works, but okay. Archie showing some good agility. Ooh. Oh, again. Three to nothing. Looking for the shutout victory here tonight, Day of Defiance. 
Cards are all fired up. No, he's losing. Haven't you been keeping score? Oh, he blocked it. Oh, and Richards lands a leg kick. All right, three to one. They were going to Charlie Horse, Dave Brazak. They yes. hurt. They hurt bad. Looking over to the athletic commission representatives. Richard's gonna look to grapple here. I don't see too many wrist locks in MMA. Whoa. Or that. Comes right down to it, it is a professional wrestling match. I don't think we're gonna be seeing George St. Pierre do that particular thing into a wrist lock during his next fight. Maybe I'm wrong. Archie, whoa. Whoa, whoa, rolling four. Oh, come on, it worked for Davey. Punishing him now. Whoa. Uncalled for. What? Archie says that is the end of round one. And a competitive round it was. Do your job, ring announcer. I gotta say that's 10-9 Archie. He landed more kicks. Yes. Archie going to the tile. Oh, and that big right hand! I think he's out. He's finished. He's done. Get in there, Drummond. Archie is your winner. Let me make headlines. Uh, PW Insider. He is not knocked out. The Observer. Crossing ponderings. Ponder this. Well, how is he back to his feet? I hope he's wearing a jock. Well, the athletic commission now uh, would make sure that they're wearing the, pop the proper attire. I'm sure he's wearing a cup. Oh, and a spin Ooh. kick. Richard starting off round two here with some vicious kicking. Takes Archie off his feet. Once in a lifetime here tonight. Archie and Davey. Well, we could do it next year and just call it twice in a lifetime, right? I hope so. Draw the biggest gate ever. Oh, and again, spin back kick. What an atmosphere here for this big time fight. Oh, Ooh, knee strike. Knee. Is he out? Is he out? He's won like twice now. Do your job, Drummond. Going to the top, like so many MMA fighters. Arch is gonna fly! It's over! He's Unbelievable! Tap, tap! He's got it sunk in deep! Why is he not tapping? And he's, a, he's out of the hold and oh! Flurry of Kawada kicks here from Richards. Archie's, Archie may be done for. Never count him out, man. All that hard training, the hours in the gym. He prepared for this fight, and not in a square. It was in an octagon. He's out of his element. That's the problem. He's out. Coming right on top of it here. Get up, come on, to your feet. He's starting to come back around. Shake it off, it was only like 12 kicks. Oh, oh, leg lock! He lured him into the false sense of security. He's got the heel hook! Tap, tap! Come on! You know you need to, right? Tap! Ah, oh, <laughs> to the rope. There ain't no ropes in the cage. Archie's just used a chain link. Exactly. This is the third time he's won. Let's go to Bruce Buffer for the official word. That's your cue. 
Unbelievable. The official word. Oh! Oh, oh my goodness! Wow. And back to reality we go. Richard's looking a little frustrated here. I don't know why. He's been defeated three times already during the course of the match. Fires him back. Is it like 10 falls or something like that? What's going on? Archie trying to pull himself back to his feet here. Uh-oh. No! <laughs> wax on, wax on. I think that's wax off. That's a knockout. Knockout victory for Davey Richards. He was robbed. He won that fight three times before that kick. Seven minutes, 58 seconds. Your winner, Davey Richards. Richards with the knockout victory. And robbed, I say, robbed. And Archie goes to 0, 3, and 16. Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, oh, come on now, T-Man bitching! Putting the boots to Mixed Martial Archie! This is not bitching. This is totally unnecessary. Somebody needs to come to the aid of Archie here. T-Man bitching. Beating down Mixed Martial Archie. Here comes ACH, here comes Elgin! The fight is on! Well, the scheduled to be an attack team match later on tonight, but I think they're going to start this thing right now. Ring the bell. Here we go. Tag team action. ACH and Elgin. The Heritage Champion and the AAW Heavyweight Champion. ACH loading up that right hand. Tag team action here, fans. Off the ropes goes Richards. Runs over ACH. You know, Richards was just in a very grueling fight. Oh, definitely. And now doing some pro wrestling with ACH. Some fast paced pro wrestling. Nice drop kick sends Richards to the floor. ACH, one of the most popular wrestlers here in AAW. I hate those ring steps. They always move like that. Back in the ring now is Elgin taking out O'Reilly. From so many people getting Switch Irish whipped. Oh, flying elbow. He's holding him for Archie. Oh, Archie with the roundhouse. Getting some payback. In goes O'Reilly now. Big boot from Kyle. Grudge match here. We saw this one transpire. After Elgin successfully defended the title against Richards back here last month and O'Reilly came out to put the boots to him. ACH made the save. We got ourselves a tag team matchup, an all-star tag team matchup. And uh, PJ Drummond has regained some sort of order in this thing. ACH, oh, quick double stomp. Just like it's nothing. Yeah. Scoop slam, big elbow drop. Hooks the leg. Now, ACH's popularity here in AAW, uh, very well deserved because of just how explosive and exciting his offense is inside the ring. Hard shot. Unbelievable athleticism out of ACH. Tag into the heavyweight champion of AAW, and he goes right after Davey. Comes out of the way at the last what, second. Switches him in. Suplex position here. Oh, we might have a little time to talk here, Dave Prezak. A bit of a delay during the course of this souplay. Oh! ACH watching out for Michael Elgin right there, making sure nobody interrupts the delayed vertical suplex. We do need to be out of here by like 11.15ish.
redefined. Wow. Suplex. Kyle O'Reilly is seeing stars here. Cover. Oh, hook the leg, man. Only two. You almost had him on that minute vertical suplex. I mean, that'll really take you off your bearings. Definitely. ACH wants in. What a night we've had thus far, Dave Isaac. We call our first MMA fight. We haven't even hit intermission yet. ACH in with Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, back in the T-Man bitch in corner. There's tagging to Davy, the fresh man. Oh, and he's got a big boot for the champ. Davy looking very determined here as he takes ACH to the center. Irish whip in. Runs him right over with the back elbow. Richard's very aggressive here. No oh, roundhouse. Like he always is. No frills with Davy Richards. He's got one speed. He's got one direction. It's fast and straight ahead. Referee O'Reilly doing the damage on the outside here. Yeah, the referee trying to convince Elgin to go back out to the apron here to keep this a regular tag team matchup. Only two men inside the ring. There we go now. Cinching in a uh, French chancery there. Tag is made. Back in comes O'Reilly, a recent guest on Colt Cabana's Art of Wrestling a couple of weeks ago. Right. There we go. Now sends him into the corner. Oh, no. A little Ooh. roundhouse kicks now. Brutal kick. Kyle O'Reilly, very, very sound striker. ACH now using that agility to his advantage. Deep arm drag. And again. Oh, nice drop kick. Everything ACH does is like so pi picture perfect. That's right. Look at that strategy there as he holds the man in the corner for the champ to come in. Elgin staring a hole through Davey Richards. We heard him say earlier in the week, this isn't about the title anymore, it's personal. Look at that. Just sending Kyle into his own corner so that Davey can make the tag if he chooses to, and he does. This is getting manly here, Dave Prezak. It's getting very manly very quick. Change of forearms here. Oh. Some snug shots there. Oh, nice throw by Elgin. Use Davies' momentum against him there off the ropes. Yeah, release belly to belly. Suplex just launched him overhead. We're going to see another. Unbelievable. Hey, if you're going to go to the bar, grab me another beer. Is this intermission or is it count? Is this the second intermission? I'm not sure. Third intermission. Look at Elgin doing squats, holding up Davey Richards. This guy's just a beast. Again, not hooking the leg. Learn from your experience or your mistake earlier in the matchup. You're sounding more and more like Derek St. Holmes. How do you expect to get the victory if you don't do a fundamental thing like hooking the leg, man? Scoop slam here from ACH, the heritage champion of AAW. I love it. <laughs> oh, and the big slam. Cover, no. <laughs> Grabbing hold of the arms of Davey Richards here. Oh, and he stomps the foot. Oh, and now he unloads with the kick. Makes the tag. 
O'Reilly at ACH are legal. Oh, and a hard kick from O'Reilly. I mean, how do you combat these guys? I mean, they can take punishment and just dish out those kicks out of nowhere. Snap suplex there. Snapper. You know, we talked earlier about the uh, tag team experience of zero gravity. I got to give the edge here to Team Ambition. Oh, definitely. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure if Elgin and ACH have teamed in the past. I don't think so. Oh, there's a big right hand. I mean, not only have uh, Richards and O'Reilly been partners, but training partners for many years. Yep, running the roads with one another. Training in not only pro wrestling, but other combat sports. And, you know, as my friends on ProWrestlingPonderings.com said earlier this week. That's the second plug we've given to you. Give us some money, man. You could almost uh, envision Elgin and ACH being like a, like a buddy cop team. <laughs> That would be hilarious. I smell vignettes. Uh-oh, I smell gut buster. Super gut buster, right to the midsection with the knee. Devastating move from Kyle O'Reilly there. ACH in trouble, immediately rolling over for the tag. Another out. And out. Right to the midsection with that knee. The kitchen sink, I've heard that referred to as yes. many times. No idea why. Oh, the actual kitchen sink might feel better than that knee with that much momentum. Elbow there, and Richards and O'Reilly going to slow down the pace here. I don't want to you can, dickhead. Talking some trash, talking that garbage. A one, a two, a three. Three. Wow. <laughs> Trying to cut the ring in half, focus on one member of the team, keep ACH away from Elgin. And flurry here, strikes down on the mat by Kyle O'Reilly. Able to kick out. Trying ACH to keep still in trouble, taking a lot of punishment here. He needs to somehow find his corner and make that tag. Team Ambition doing a very good job of focusing on ACH. Elgin wants that tag so bad. I think ACH wants it more. Expression of pain on his face right now. Richard's being very methodical. Just picking him apart. ACH trying to fire back. Mount some offense here. Suplex, no. Who's gonna get it? ACH getting dissected here right before our eyes. Some Looking for maybe a power bomb here. Oh, over the shoulder, backbreaker Good style. The, oh, right into the corner, abdomen first. Charges, drop kick. Tag into Kyle O'Reilly. Teamwork here from Team Ambition. Forearm shot from O'Reilly, elevating ACH to the top. Oh, double team there. Richards like a freight train running right through him in the corner. Elgin doing anything he can to disrupt that, that three count. Now ACH gonna get stretched out here by O'Reilly. It's just a testament to the tag team experience of Richards and O'Reilly being able to control the match, but I think Elgin just had enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna step in and I'm gonna punch you in the face. That's how it goes sometimes. Tag, in comes Richards again. Trying to keep him grounded. Body scissors 
Legs wrapped right around the midsection of ACH. Painful predicament and very difficult for him to breathe in this position. You know, they've really done the smart thing. And you, you take the faster man of the team, the high flyer, and you ground him and you wear him down. I mean, it would be so much harder to do that to Michael Elgin no, just from a size definitely. perspective alone. But at the same time, and illegal leverage from the floor here from O'Reilly out of the line of sight of P.J. Drummond. It is the smartest strategy on their part, but how many times have we seen ACH be on the receiving end of a beating and he somehow gets the energy to fire back and hit some of his great athletic maneuvers? Well, he's going to have to do it again here if he wants to have any chance of winning this bout. He's trying to inch his way toward the corner. He definitely has a lot of heart. Here we go now. Landing on his feet, though. There's a good opportunity, but there's a blind tag. I don't think ACH saw it at all. He had to turn to one of them. Oh, misdirection. Kicks the hamstring. Oh, and a double move there. DDT stunner combination. The time is now. Make the tag, man. Make the tag. He's so close now, rolls through. There you go. Michael Elgin in. Four for Davey, one for Kyle. Elgin hit anything that moves. Oh! Rolling elbow, big boot. Kick to the chest. O'Reilly to no avail now. Neck breaker. Oh, right to the brain stem. Devastating. Big wow. power slam. It's all Michael Elgin right now. It's the Elgin. heavyweight champion. It's Elgin and he's fresh. Sending Richards into the corner. No. Big splash there. Watch out! Oh no! Bad timing right there. Elgin working over both of his opponents. It's like getting hit with a log. Picks him up now, fire. No way. Oh, yes way! Look at the strength of Elgin! Sweet Jameis! Sweet Jameis! Unreal and unbreakable. Unreal strength. Just ridiculous. Got him up now. Yeah, that's a great move, but it doesn't win you the match unless you get the three count. Runs him in. No! Oh! oh, and into the corner. Richard's in trouble now. Cover! Kicks out. ACH trying to regain his bearings out on the apron right now as Elgin continues to go to work on Davey Richards here. Very competitive tag team match here. Ronhouse kick. Ooh. Forearm shot. Back and forth. Oh, and a jumping kick. Off the ropes. Follows him in with the clothesline. Tagging to ACH. Wearing him out up against the ropes. Here comes ACH. Oh, and a big kick. Lariat. Lariat. Oh, two and three quarters. How did he kick out? No clue how he kicked out of that one. What so it's right about Davey Richards, but he's got some heart and intestinal oh, fortitude as well. Absolutely. Nobody home. Richards Roll dives up. in. Been in combination here. Northern, Northern Lights. Lights. Only two. Wow. Kyle O'Reilly's been out there for a long time, nursing his wounds. Davey trying to muscle him up, but very big competitor. Knee strike. 
No. Buckle bomb. No. no. David was ready. Double stomp. Keep your eye on ACH. He's climbing to the top. Up top he goes. No, oh, but David was ready. Drop kicked out of midair. Great defense from Davey Richards. O'Reilly in. Held out to the apron. Oh, big right hand. Uppercut from ACH. Springboarding. Moonsault press caught. Tombstone. Plants him. Hit. No. Wow. All I can say. Kicking Elgin out of the ring to the floor. They think they got ACH right where they want him here. Can they put him away though? See what they have in mind. He's placed up top. Double superplex maybe. Elgin's back in. Oh boy. Electric chair there. Davey fighting out of it. Go behind. Oh, the big man getting up. Huge kick. That landed flush. These guys are just going to war here. Ten, fifteen strikes here. He's still on his feet. No. Nope. Step up, DDT, no! No, no, no! Held his ground! Whoa! Wow! With one arm! One arm tilt the world backbreaker! Just brute strength! O'Connor, locked! Nice German! German. Oh! Brainbuster! No! Oh! No! Come on! You gotta be kidding me! How did he kick out? How? Here we go! This is indeed awesome! But it's not over yet. ACH, ACH with Richards. Going for the spirit bomb. Can't quite get it. Sunset flip. Can he take him over? No. Roll, Roll him up. up. Tag. O'Reilly, the legal oh. man, delivers the kick to the chest. Boot to the midsection. Axe kick. Oh! Devastating combo. No! Richards can't believe it. We still have a second half of the show. Yes, we do. Team Ambition now with ACH. Oh! Kick to the head, Brain Buster combination. Cover. Elgin's back. Whoa, deadlift German. He makes it look so easy. Brute strength. I've said it before, I'll say it again. And once again, Elgin and Richards face to face. to the midsection by Richards. Elgin's still on his feet. Still up. Again and again. 
Caught the third one. This match is bonkers. Davey came charging out to the floor. Roll up here. Kyle, he's got the tights. No. Oh, oh what a kick. Oh. And again. Spirit bomb. Two, three, oh. What? Are you kidding me? No way. Are we at intermission? Yes, unbelievable, unbelievable match by all four guys. Wow! O'Reilly and Richards get the victory. I feel like I just had tantric sex for like eight <laughs> hours. And I finally blew my load. What a match. Tonight, it's last man standing, Sammy. It's not put your opponent down for three seconds. It's not make him tap out. It's not make him say, I quit. You have 10 seconds to get up off the mat or the ground, or it's over. And not that I need it or anything, but I do have the back. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Just with your mouth closed, at least, please. You're eating. Cake! Cheap day. <clears throat> you know what? Tonight, Sammy, when I put you down, it's gonna be a lot longer than 10 seconds. You're not getting back up. That, I promise. Alright, we done here? We done yeah, here? cut. That's a wrap, guys. Whoa! I'd like to give you an opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, Kev. Thanks, man. I, I'm. You don't want to team with Keith and Tweek? Eh, not interested. No, I'm good. You have no interest in facing Matt Fitcher? Dude, piss off. I don't care about Matt Fitcher. Wontai Miller? Dude, I don't give a crap about Wontai Miller. Colt Cabana? Colt Cabana, huh? Colt hmm. Cabana. Now you're talking. Actually, we're not talking now because there's a camera here. But you and I should probably get to talking. Piss off, Keith. Let's go. Fight up. Well, here we go, six-man tag action. We are here in DL. Keith Walker's looking huge. Oh, man. Look up swole in the dictionary. Like, you don't even need that chain in his hand to be super duper crazy intimidating. We heard Dan Lawrence talking to Harvey earlier today in that, that backstage segment. So I'm gonna give you an opportunity to face Matt Fitchett. Juntai Miller. Dan Lawrence, not uh, not enticed until uh, the name Colt Cabana came up. He said, yeah. all right, I got Colt Cabana with Keith Walker and Tweak Phoenix in my corner, I'll take it. Lamar Titan injured. Whoa, hey now. Titan not here tonight. Oh, they might have a fourth partner. I don't think that's legal. The kid looks frightened. He's like, I don't want Keith Walker. I'm not gonna fight that guy. He's got a chain. <laughs> All right, you're not doing good. Maybe next time, kid. Eight man tag. This crowd is uh, 
pretty rowdy. Very interesting uh, matchup of uh, opponents here. Trios action, if you will. I guess Dan Lawrence perfectly content with the fact that they are here and they've been here for a while. And he's going to join them for the sake of doing battle with Boom Boom. The Cabana and Lawrence have had that issue for the better part of this year. Nothing really resolved there as of yet. Perhaps it will be now. Also, two great young up-and-comers on that team with Cabana and Juntai Miller and Matt Fitchett. Two guys to keep your eye on for the future here in AAW. The old schoolyard push there. Here we go. There's the bell. It's going to be Dan Lawrence. And Lawrence and Cabana starting it off here. Still to come, last man standing, Hollister and Callahan. That should be great. What a night here. Oh, he slaps on the headlock. I'm sure Cabana's been in a couple headlocks in his career. Quite a few. Just grinding away on that headlock. Cabana had the right strategy to free himself from the hold. Nikki making her voice heard at ringside. I heard it. Very high pitched. Nothing doing there for Lawrence. A little bit more momentum, Dan. And again. Comes Fitch it. Oh! <laughs> the first time that Fitch it and Cabana have teamed. Schoolyard tactics coming into play. <laughs> Ridiculous. How do you follow the uh, the big Davy Richards tag team match like this? That's the answer. Tag into tweak. Redefine. You're telling Dan Lawrence to take a hike. Popcorn match redefined. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming in the direction of Nikki. Is she a member of Aces and Eights? What's with the. I, I'm not sure what's going on there. Here we go now. Oh, Phoenix with a boot. He's like, enough of the shenanigans. Boot to the midsection. Did somebody say the secret word? There's only one Colt Cabana. Tag to Mr. Miller. June Time Miller, the Muay Thai assassin. Has he killed people with Muay Thai? I'm sure he could. Side headlock now, gonna whip him off the ropes. Might wanna keep that K5. And I'm not talking smart mark video. Drop down, roll through by Miller. Fast pace action here off the ropes. Rolls through, bridging. Nice. Only two. Headlock grabbed by Miller. Trying to free himself, get the momentum, sends Juntai in the corner. Open over to the apron, forearm. Nice shot by Miller. Your slingshot in now. Oh, and the face plant. Miller with that lethal offense. Scissor knee, we know he likes it, there's tag. the tag. Fitch it to the second. The dirty rook. Oh, dropping the knees halfway across the ring. Hooks the leg. Two count. Whip in now, reversed by Phoenix. Miller so quick, it takes out the leg. Now, I've said it in the past here on commentary. I, re I really do think that the future of AAW for the years to come is a combination of guys like ACH, Matt Fitchett, and Juntai Miller. Most like, definitely. They're, they're, 
very early in their careers at this stage of the game, but you can tell that they're just gonna get even better with every passing match. It's almost like you could say Cabana's teaming with the young Low Key and the young Matt Seidel here tonight. <laughs> yes. Don't be the next AJ Styles, be the fir first Matt Seidel. Yes, that's right. I remember that in Highland one day. Series of reversals. Now Dan Lawrence doesn't even know where he's at. Harvey up on the apron. Running into distraction. There's a tag to the big man. Oh, that. A little bit of a size difference here. That put, they've been here for a while in the driver's seat of the match. Oh. Suplex. Hard suplex. Just muscling the man over. Trifecta. All right. We've seen this earlier. No more, no more. I tap out, I tap. This is me, this is me tapping. Cover. Yo, know, Walker maybe send a little message to somebody in the back there. Could be. You don't want to piss him off. Can you imagine those two behemoths going Yee. on? Here? What's with the spitting? That's a new thing in wrestling. Lots I'm gonna of saliva, spit on saliva being curled in the direction of their opponents. Back in a tweak. Matt Fitcher taking a beating right now, fans. Never mind the pile driver being outlawed. Spitting should be a fine. I agree. No room for that in the sport of kings. Snap mare by Dan Lawrence. Former, former Triple Crown winner, Dan Lawrence. Don't sleep on Dan Lawrence. He's very, very qualified. Especially with the Texas Tornado boot tassels. But he has two feet, unlike Carey. Hard chop there. We've seen Walker deliver these lethal chops. You know, from a distance, Dan Lawrence does look like the, the much smaller Von Eric brother. A little bit. Or one of the Stephen Sean Simpson I'm from not, World And I'm Pass. not talking Lance. <laughs> no, definitely not Lance. He's got Carrie's hair, so. Remember Lance? Ah! Unfortunately. Oh, big elbow there from Fig. Oh, dumps him in the corner. Here comes Squeak. Here comes Walker. Oh, he violence. The side of the head, wow. Violence party in the corner. Violence party. Ridiculous. Going back to those Highland days from that other promotion, I remember asking uh, Super Dragon before his match, do you have any moves that I need to know the name of? And he goes, when I do lots of moves in the corner, yeah, that's the violence party. <laughs> when I do lots of moves, what the? All right, trying to prevent Fitchin from getting to his corner to make oh. the tag. Walker taking out the whole team. Indie wrestling tidbits. Keith Walker really asserting himself here tonight, being very aggressive. Yeah. Trying Fitcher to hold really on. Needs that tag there. No. Ducks that Enzigiri attempts. Tag is made to carry. Discus punch coming up. Oh! oh. Meeting of the minds. There's the tag to Coke Cabana. Boom! Boom! On the right hand. Takes him off his feet. Here comes jabs. the jabs. Oh, and the big elbow. Cabana holding court here. All Colt Cabana right now. Irish whip. In Watch comes Walker. Cabana sends in the big man here. The shot on Tweak. All three now. Flying Apple. Here it comes. Why not go for the trifecta? Oh, no. Because Walker's this big. Oh, oh. it's so black. Right on his shoulder, it looked like. Out goes Cabana. 
nasty suplex from Keith Walker. A valid reason not to go for the trifecta. Miller in now, shoots out of the corner. Up and over, no, head scissors into the turnbuckle. He's setting up something. All you can do is be ready. Oh, the goodbye tooth. They really call it that? Yes, that's what he calls it. Never say it again. <laughs> To the top goes Miller. Possible double stop, no double knees. Walker, boot to the midsection. He's fighting off both Keith Walker and Tweak by himself here. Miller looking like Steven Seagal here, taking out many attackers with martial arts. Double elbows. Oh no. Ah! Oh my. Devastating. Oh my. Wow. Pitch it. Pele kick. Caught Walker on top of your head. Phoenix now cinches him in. Slingshot? No. I was hoping he was going for the old Tully slingshot. <laughs> well, looks like a superplex. Pitch it fighting it off though. Oh, pitch it. Flying power bomb. Fitchett bound to do something dangerous. Up top. Oh, shooting, shooting star. star. Walker Keith right Walker. in there. Ah. Huge choke slam. Lariato. Cabana's back. No, oh, Cabana got him up. Take a nap! Yawn. Roll up by Dan Lawrence! Tights! Tights! He got, he got him! Dan Lawrence! Dirty Dan Lawrence with the victory! With the dirty victory with a handful of tights. DL again gets one up by Cabana. Francois has his work cut out for him, man. Eddie Kingston has arrived. Here we go, fans. Francois with the frosted tips. I don't know if it'll be enough tonight. We'll see. Kingston, one of the toughest men in professional wrestling today. Great to have him here in AAW. Oh, shoves him right into the ropes. Kingston known the world over as being one of the toughest hombres in all of wrestling. Without a doubt. Francois in control early with a couple shots. Whips him off now. Has him up like a sack of taters. Oh, into the T-bone suplex. Eddie Kingston traveled the world over, honing his craft in the past few years. Captured many titles. In the best shape of his career as well. 
And he is said. Oh, big, big spine buster by McIntyre. Oh, key maneuver right there for McIntyre. Calling for the end. In a fancy way. Fancy Francois. Hooks him in. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah! Suplex into the corner. Right on his head. Backfist. That could be it right there. Au revoir. Turns him over. Eddie Kingston has arrived. One minute, 23 seconds. Your winner, Eddie Kingston. Making quick work of fantastic Francois. What a debut. I look forward to seeing much more out of Eddie Kingston so, here in AAW. Saying, where's my money? This could get very colorful. So, uh, it's been a while. It has. And it feels really good to be back. But, first off, I think, Prisak, you go away, my man. You can't be deceived. Get out of here. Get out of here. First off, everyone say what's up today, Prisak. Why are you cutting a promo yeah. about me? <laughs> I didn't shut up for the love of God. No one loves you. Your mother hates you. She wanted to get an abortion. E. E. But she couldn't afford it with her welfare stamps. Stop it. Stop it. You have a retard. Where is this promo anyway, going? I did not take two flights and almost die on the way to Chicago to wrestle for her. How long was that? A minute and a half? That's a lot of cardio for me. So, you better bring someone out. Anybody? Hey, where's the dude that don't like me? Where is he? Which one is it, you? Holy shit. Where's the cam cameraman? Take a look at this lesbian right here. <laughs> Wow. The views of Eddie Kingston are not necessarily those of AAW, Professional Wrestling Redefined. Who's coming? Oh, it's Marcus Crane! Marcus Crane, he challenged anybody! Well, it, stepping up to the challenge. He's having taking a his t-shirt off. He's having a match with his AFI t-shirt. Marcus Crane wants to test his gangsta. He drew the line in the sand or the canvas in the ring. He's gonna cross that line. Second line. Will you dare cross two lines to yep? The Marcus Crane experience out here. He's looking at you like Dave, is he for real? Um Step up to the open challenge. Uh oh! Uh oh! Ah! Oh! Back to the up right to Two and zero tonight. Forty-four seconds. Your winner, Eddie Kingston. Two and zero. Two and zero. Tracy Smothers. I don't know if you people know this, but from now on I say what I want, when I want, whenever the fuck I want, so shut up. Somebody explain to me right now, am I supposed to be afraid of any Kingston? Yeah. Is that how it's supposed to be? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, because I've been in New York. 
You worked for Vince McMahon? Oh. The state of New York. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice save. Um, oh, biggest boy. mistake of your life. Backfist oh, up. Backfist. And Wagner on the attack. We got a match here. Off comes the ring jacket shirt thing. Big Running. forearm. I gotta give it to Wagner. Busai Kuni. Wagner showing a ton of cojones. Kicking out at half. At point five. Wow. Um. Oh, forearm him either. Oh, Not oh. a good idea. Overhand oh, slapping. A terrible idea. T Bone suplex coming up. Off comes the pad. Ing. Several pads. In. Oh! Big clothesline. Oh! Took his head off. Down comes the shoulder strap. Now, now it's time to get down to business. What's he calling for her? Wagner throws him to the outside there. Ah, into the ring steps. Jump for Wagner! Wow, big dive from Knight Wagner. Wagner all fired up. Actually with the advantage of the match right now, bringing it back inside. Top rope he goes. Oh, the back fist! Right out of midair! It's over. Kingston 3-0 on his first night. All right, who's next? Safari Stu? <laughs> who's going to come out next? Ashton Vatan, who's next? Seaman. Think about what you're chanting right now, all right? Yeah, Think about what you're E. E. <laughs> skeet, skeet, I'm out. Skeet, skeet, he's out. What a debut for Eddie Kingston. sit out here in front of the Berwyn Eagles Club and I, I start to think. I start reminiscing a lot of memories. This building means a lot to the world of independent wrestling. This building was put on the map when I was still a young kid trying to get into this company. Jimmy Jacobs stood in the middle of that ring in the Berwyn Eagles Club and dropped the IWA Mid-South Heavyweight Championship in the trash. It set the wrestling world on fire. And ever since then, it's never slowed down. Here at AAW, this is where people come now. This is the top place in the Midwest, and slowly and surely, it's becoming the top place in the country to be. And all leads up to this. Day of Defiance. It's me and Shane Hollister, one last time, in the middle of the ring, mano y mano, good versus evil. I realize tonight, for once, the better man is gonna walk out on top. There's not gonna be any flukes. There's not gonna be any going back and rewriting history, because this is it. Look me in the eyes, Shane. Look me in the eyes. Tonight, you can't win with a three count. Tonight, you can't tap out to get out of my clutches. You're gonna hit me, and I'm gonna hit you, but I'm gonna hit you that much harder. And when it's said and done, you'll be lying in the middle of the ring, and I'll be standing with my hand held victorious in the legendary Berwyn Eagles Club. Tonight is my day of defiance. 
like it or love it, it's a true statement. We have the opening bell. Here we go. Sammy Ray. Highly anticipated one-on-one -on -one matchup. First time ever. Not to be confused with Sammy Callahan, it's Sammy Ray Del Sol. Samurai Del Sol been literally all around the globe in the last two years. Silas Young, of course, the man here in AAW for the better part of the last three or four years. Former two-time heavyweight champion. He's the measuring stick. And he's made it his point to run through these young kids and prove to himself that he is still the best in AAW. Here now, we go. We've seen Samurai Del Sol over the years here in AAW going from, uh, I remember when he was wrestling on the pre-show. Yes, that's right. Uh, and, and now he's one of the most in-demand professional wrestlers in the world. Uh, of course, uh, headlining a lot of shows in the United States in addition to uh, competing in Mexico and on just a regular back basis. from Russia, he was telling me earlier. Wow. So yeah, Samurai Del Sol. You take on Boris Zukov? That would be awesome. <laughs> Cartwheel over now. Silas with a little dipsy doo. Whoop ba boo. I, ho I hope he doesn't call it that. Does That's exactly that? what he calls it. Dipsy doo, whoop ba boo. And it's very effective. Oh, 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 octagon. Oh, 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 octagon. Here we go now. Junior. Feeling out process early is. Silas obvious with the size advantage here, but Del Sol with a very well-rounded game. Fell right into that arm drag, nicely done. Puts the shin on the, uh, the ear there, the side of the head of Del Sol for leverage. How about Eddie Kingston coming out and just doing whatever the hell he wanted there? For a yes, that was how about his mic work? Wow. <laughs> he's, he's from New York. Yes. That guy. Eddie Kingston has arrived, fans. Wow, look at this now. Nice bridge. Derek St. Holmes somewhere. Loving that. Johnny Rods in school. They're probably still doing Hindu squats. Him and Taz. What was Johnny Rods' real name? I don't know. Oh, Wikipedia. Slipped through now. Nice kick to break the hold. Silas didn't even see that coming. You know, you think about Silas Young. I mean, he's climbed the mountain twice here in AAW. Very lengthy title reigns. I mean, really now he just has to prove it to himself. Yeah. That he can still be the king of that locker room. So many young talents coming at him. We saw him take out Matt Fitchett last month in a very hard-fought battle, and tonight it's Del Sol. You know, Del Sol has been very successful elsewhere as of late, uh, you know, the past several months, competing all over the world, as we said. Uh, but it would mean a lot for his AAW standing in terms of title contention and whatnot if he can put away a former AAW champion. For sure. We saw Del Sol get to the finals of that Heritage title tournament coming up short to ACH, but just tremendous matches all the way through. Greco-Roman. We are here. Height advantage and probably strength advantage for Silas right here. They don't do lots of tests of strength in Lucha. Gonna bend him right over the knee. Look at the... Uh, wow! Freaky flexibility there by Del Sol. The fans, they are a drinker. And they're quoting the Iron Sheik. Always a good idea. Del Sol tick for tack. Now gonna stretch out Silas. Break his back, make him humble. A stalemate here, kind of surprising. Wow! Double cartwheel into the wrist lock. Irish whip now, wheelbarrow position. Samurai back to his feet. Young Relentless on that go behind. They're trying to bring it down to the mat, possibly. Actually, he's just putting the squeeze on. I mean, it's a good, uh, good idea on Silas's part. Try to keep hold of Del Sol so that he can't hit the ropes and use that quickness. Series of elbows now. Going in. Nope. Back elbow by Silas. Hits off. Spinning kick. Shot right to the throat, it looked like. A thrusting strike there. Springboarding. Silas. With a barrel. He's got it. 
onset. No. Avoids Nobody the drop kick and grabs hold of the legs. Well, Samurai Del Sol came out on the better end of that exchange. Able to avoid that drop kick attempt by Silas to grab hold of the legs and tie him up. He's got a leg locker. Silas punching onto that bottom rope and Del Sol right on him. Putting the boots in. What a night we have had here, fans. Want to thank you for joining us here at the Eagles Club or on smartmarkvideo.com. And it ain't over yet. We still have Sammy Callahan and Shane Hollister to come. Incredible. Chop, don't know if he got all of that one. Oh, we got all of that for sure. Irish whip, reverse. Nope. Silas into the buckle. We came in with the knee. Lucha. Oh, nice kick. Oh, the back suplex, nicely done. Looks right into the cover. No wasted motion there from Samurai. Hit the move, went right into the cradle. All the way across the ring. Up and over to the apron. The shot sent Silas reeling. But Val Malone grabbing a hold of the foot and pulls him down. He landed on his feet, though. Oh, nobody home there for Silas. Samurai one step ahead of both oh. Silas and Val Malone right there. Here comes the luchador. He's going to fly. Kamikaze dive. You know, usually you have the, uh, the two-on-one situation with a manager at ringside, but Samurai maintaining control of the matchup. You have to hand it to him. Go down, throws him in. Fans rallying here. Waiting for Silas. Waiting for the right moment. For Silas to be out of standing position. Springboarding. Finds his feet. Misdirection now. Whoa. What was that? Weird way of hitting oh. the ropes. Oh, nice maneuver by Silas Young. Drops him right over the knee. Very similar to the Madison Eagles Hellbound. Out of the fireman's carry, dropping down across the knee. Devastating move. And now Silas going to take his time here. Drops the boot. Drives that knee. knee right into the back. Silas Come on, Lucha rest. Libre. Come on. What can you do, Lucha Libre? The luchador has been grounded. Samurai is the entirety of Lucha Libre. He represents all of wrestling in Mexico. Boom. Hashtag boom. Have you heard the Conan podcasts? I have. On MLW.com. Big plug. Highly entertaining if you haven't heard it. Now you're over with me. <laughs> Go send him in. Oh. Have you visited Iran lately? No, I have not. <laughs> That's a zero gravity thing. Iranian tobacco. Has him up now. Nice suplex from Silas. Snapped it down. Covers the man. Lateral press, but no. Silas getting a little bit frustrated here. Also showing a lot of tenacity. Oh, the headbutt. Trying to get in the head of Samurai Del Sol. Just taunting him right there before delivering the headbutt. Shot to the ribs. Now upstairs with the forearm. Del Sol fighting back here off the ropes. Backdrop. Oh, big backdrop. Landed right on his posterior there. Right on his tailbone. Covers the man with the leg. No. Here we go now. 
Trying to keep Samurai grounded. Take away that quickness advantage that he does have in a match like this. I was just twisting the neck there. Not not too much fanciness, fanciness to that hold. I mean, not only keeping him grounded, but trying to take away his energy. How can Del Sol even see through that thing? Good question. But I asked the same question about the Rick Martel, Jake Roberts blindfold match. Hmm, I wonder. Makes you wonder. <laughs> Secrets of the ring. Del Sol in trouble here. Can't seem to make it to his feet. Trying to get back to a standing position here, but handful of the mask of Samurai Del Sol just throws him down to the mat. Oh! Kick out of nowhere. Silas certainly didn't see that coming. Trying to mount some offense here, Del Sol. Backed him into the corner here, reversal. Good back and forth action here. Silas ran in blind and hit the, hit the foot coming in. Springboarding. Whoa! Whoa, oh, beautiful move by Del Sol! No. Version of the code red. Turned him inside out, but it was not enough. Samurai springboarding again. Silas gonna roll through. Momentum, he's got a hold of him. Oh, and the backbreaker. Textbook. That's why Silas Young is the measuring stick in AAW. Del Sol with the shoulder up. She's in that chin lock now. Again, very smart strategy by Young. The reason why he was the AEW champion for such a long period of time, he knows he knows exactly how to take away the strengths of his opponent during the course of a match. He knows that Del Sol, if he's able to hit the ropes, able to climb to the top, that is when he's at his best. If he's down on the canvas, unable to move, Silas is in control of the match. A little extra oomph there from Silas Young. Del Sol's been in this hold for quite a while. He's got to figure out some sort of way to work his way out of this hold, get back to his feet. He's got to take away so much of his energy. He's back on his feet though, elbows to the midsection. Here goes now, send him off. Nice kick from Del Sol. Here's his chance, all the way up. Went for the Hurricane Rana, but no. Oh, and he dropped him right on top. Hot shot right across the top rope. Very good on Silas's part, blocking the Hurricane Rana attempt. Oh, and a big running boot. Shades of Dan Spivey. <laughs> yes. The Golden Boy version. Wait, Waylon, my buddy Waylon. Whoa! Monkey flip what a into move the by corner. Samurai. Young just kind of fell into that move. I don't think he thought Samurai was going to force him up with the legs. Monkey flip redefined. DJ Johnson cutting both men down. Val Malone showing she can beat with both hands. Ah, yes. Looks like both men are going to make their feet here. Silas back to his feet first. Nobody home on the clothesline. There's what Samurai needs to do. He needs to quicken the pace, but every time he, he tries for it, Silas cuts him off. Whoa. Head scissors, takes him over. Nice. Spin kick from Samurai. Asai DDT! Oh, no! 
Thought he had him there. Trying to dig down for some more energy. I mean, he's he's been so worn down by Silas throughout the course of the matchup. Looking for the support of the fans here in Berwyn. Here we go. He's taking forever. I mean, he's very worn down. Taking a lot of time to hit this move here. Up to the top. Whoa! Lands on his feet. Killer combo coming up. Cover. Oh, Silas hooked him deep there too, but oh, it wasn't yeah. enough. He tried to grapevine both legs. He tried to get as much leverage as he could, but somehow Del Sol was still able to kick out. So I was putting the mouth to him now. Reagan the bootleg, bootlaces across the side of the mask. You think you mean something? Trying to get that psychological advantage. Continuing to talk trash. What's Silas Young thinking here? Soul out of nowhere. Can he follow up on it though? Climbing up to the second himself and all the way to the top rope. Fighting for the advantage, repeated headbutts. Hurricane Rana, no! The Rising Sun! Oh, right he nailed head. it! No! Silas wow. Young kicks out. That was about as close to three as you can get without it being three. What a match up here, fans. Anybody's ball game. Oh, he got some lucha power there. That's going to oh. make him kick you harder, man. Oh, nobody. Whoa, Silas with some agility. Right to the Nagasaki roll! PG wants a plunge coming up! No! Samurai moves out of the way, but Silas lands on his feet. Oh! Spike Rana! Right on his head! Silas in trouble here! No! Two and a half! Samurai needs to follow up here. He's got Silas down and hurt. Great sequence of maneuvers there. If he can hit one more big maneuver right here on Silas Young, Samurai Del Sol could score one of the biggest wins of his AAW career. Here we go, He's creating some space. Silas in the corner. Charges in, Silas moves. Oh, Samurai like a cat. No, no, no! Oh, I thought he wanted that reverse Rana! Snake eyes! Oh, right into the stock lock! The stock lock submission! Right in the middle of the ring! Nowhere to go! Samurai's in trouble! He tapped out! Silas tapped him out with the stock lock! Strong showing from Samurai. Silas with a submission victory. Eddie Kingston's back. Kingston's back. Does anybody even know what Eddie Kingston's doing here tonight? He's taking over the show. Five seconds ago, weren't they booing you? These people? 
You guys are more than one. You see, it, it, it was nice when I came out here. And you guys were cheering for me and everything was on. cheering for me and booing him and all that and then you cheer for him. You see that's what makes me sick about pro wrestling is you fickle, idiotic fans. You people make me sick. Wow. Kingston uh, keeping it real. You come out cheer me boo him. How long were you champion? How long were you champion here? How long did you carry this company and these on? Grateful people have the nerve to boo you. How long? Yes, and you fickle morons boo this man. You people make me sick. You might as well be CZW fans. Whoa! I'm a strong fan. Whoa! 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 Hey now! You know a bunch of DJ Hines. Um. Uh, but the bottom line is, ladies and gentlemen, I ain't come here for you people that cheer for me, because guess what? Your idiotic cheers don't pay me. He needs someone like you, someone who's the flag bearer of this company, pays me. What? So, I'm all about it. Let's make it happen. Kingston challenging Silas Young here. Didn't think we were going to see this tonight. A lot of tension in that ring right now. I got to agree with you on a couple of things. You're right about these fans. They're about as dumb as they come. But they're my retard fans. Wow. Wow, what is happening here? They're his retards. Now I realize where you come from, you may be a big deal. Even to a lot of these fans, you may be a big deal. I can see. Tonight you came here and you beat what was essentially three goofs. What have you done to prove yourself here? This isn't a business of what I've done in the past. It's a business of what have you done for me lately. And lately, you haven't done shit. Wow! So as far as a match, you're not going to get a match until you earn it. But if you want to fight, I'll give you a fight. Whoa! All right, well, whoa, whoa. You, uh, yeah, real funny, jerks. You're, uh, you, you seem a little tense. You seem a little tense. Look, I'm all about getting into a fight. I love scrapping. But, uh, you know what? Why don't you relax? I'm not getting paid to fight twice, so... What are you doing next time, okay? I apologize for ruining your moment. I apologize. A lot of tension in there. Right? No! A jump for Kingston! We got a fight on our hands! Silas and Eddie Kingston going at it! Silas firing away on him. Oh, Kingston with a low blow. Low blow by Eddie Kingston. Wow, I did not think we were going to see this. What's Looking underneath the ring. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's got a chair. Hit that low blow on Silas Young. Things getting out of control. Oh, 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 Val alone. Trying to get out of there, Val. Kingston doesn't care. 
doing whatever she can to save Silas Young. Come on, Kingston, get out of the ring. You made your point. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's got Val! No! A big right hand to Val Malone! Come on, Kingston! We need some help out here right now! We need help out here right now! Kingston with the, the timekeeper table there. No, no, no! Well, Eddie Kingston looking to send a message to Silas Young here. And I guess everyone on the roster. Whoa, that he's whoa, here whoa. and he means business. Yes. Just like Terry fucking Ric Flair. No, my God! Through the table. Kingston destroying Silas Young here! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit. Wow! Val Malone is knocked out here. More importantly, Eddie Kingston has laid out Silas Young! Come on, come on, come on! BJ, pull her out of the ring! Wow. So, to all the retards in the audience, to all the slow, dim-witted fools, your company, the best company going, is now going to change, because you finally have a king. Test my place to pop up. Eddie Kingston with a big statement here tonight, no doubt about it. So welcome to the main show, Night Wagner. Yeah, it's great. Worked real hard for it, and this is what I get. I get, I go out to the ring with Eddie Kingston, main event level caliber talent, okay? But you wanna know what? I may have lost. But that's what I did for myself, okay? Nobody did that for me. I put myself in the ring with someone like that. Not guys like Tony Rican, no AEW promoters. I did that. May have lost. Just a bump in the road. The ride's still going. Yeah, yeah, did you see him out there? <laughs> you got yeah, something was... to say? You got something to say? Where were you at tonight, huh? Pre-show. That's a little familiar, huh? You were on the pre-show. I was I'm on that. You know what? I'm earning. I'm working my way up. I gave up my spot as matchmaker, and I'm gonna climb that ladder. I'm gonna get back to the. You know, I'm gonna get on the main show. I'm gonna show you what it's yeah, about. Yeah, this sounds. I'm not gonna. You know, I'm tired of hearing it. Okay. How many times did I tell you about that crap? Huh? You don't want to go. You want to go? <laughs> hey, guys, guys, come on, come on. Security. Here we go, fans, main event time, last man standing. The issue comes to an end here tonight. Hollister and Callahan, one last time. It's changing words in the center of the ring before starting this fight. It's been building for a number of months. We saw that big hoax by Scarlett claiming she is being abused by Hollister. All a ruse to lure Sammy in. And now here we go. Each man holds a win over the other. The rubber match. Last man standing. Who can put the other man down for a 10 count tonight? Headbutt. Oh! Straight headbutt to start things off. And that's gonna set the tone here. This is just gonna be an all out fight. Sammy's stopping a hole in him here. Repeatedly just stopping him down in the corner. He's not going to stop. This match might be over here, quick. 
Callahan like a rabid dog. Wow. <laughs> Say we get a charge now. Big shot. You know, for as fantastic of a like light heavyweight wrestler as Shane Hollister is, that's not gonna really help him in a fight like this. Again, last man standing rules here with someone like Sammy Callahan, one of the best brawlers you will find. Here he comes and Hollister takes a powder. Callahan Sammy right out to meet him. Oh! Sammy one step ahead of him. He saw that Hollister was bailing to the floor and he went out there first. We knew this one was going to get wild, and they're already on the outside. Switches them up now. Oh, and a big chop. Eight more times. Sammy charging. Oh, runs him over. And again, he tells Drummond, count him. You know, a strategy in this match might be take some punishment than take a breather. I mean, you got a 10 count. But at the same time, unless you actually think your opponent is down for the 10 count, you're giving them all of this time to recover as the referee counts. You need to make sure that you only give them time when you think you actually have the match won. Very true there. He's going to whip them back in. and Hollister just taking a beating here in the early going. There goes the raffle jar. So it's basically false count anywhere, too, as we have discovered, as the referee is counting him down on the floor. We can fight out onto 26th Street tonight. Monster back to his feet, now whipped in. Right into the barricade he goes. Oh, and a big chop again. Fans on their feet at ringside here. Oh, and a thud. Hollister has had pretty much zero offense, and we're almost five minutes in. Well, it's, yeah, it's been all, all Sammy Callahan so far. Moves out of the way. Can he capitalize here? He does. Finally, Hollister, he just had to wait for that one moment where Callahan made a mistake to capitalize and gain control of the match. Hollister very proud of himself here. Walking all the way around the ring, this is giving his opponent time to recover. Knowing how vicious Callahan can be, you can't give him a moment. Callahan back up now. I don't know. If, He's oh, back on his snap. feet. Turn around. Might want to turn around. Oh, and a big boot. Sends him in for a power bomb on the outside. On the floor. Oh, right on the apron. Devastating to the back of Shane Hollister right there on the ring frame. We knew it was going to be brutal. I have a feeling we haven't seen anything yet. Callahan in firm control. Going for it again. A second. No. Oh, way. Oh, he's going to do it into the crowd. No way. No way. Way. Sweet Jeebus. Sweet Jeebus. Three. 
Sammy Callahan standing tall right now, launching Shane Hollister into the crowd. Unbelievable. Who knows where Hollister is? But Sammy's going right after him. Continuing the fight in the crowd here. Hits him with a beer. Party foul. Exactly. Over to the merch table. Better go chase him. Wish we had that roving mic. Yes. I could follow the action. Wish we had a monitor. Come on, Mike Burns, give us a monitor. All that matters is that you watching at home can see exactly what's happening even though we can't. There we go now. Trying to get a vantage point here. I can see the referee putting the count on someone. Looks like Hollister's turned the tables here. Don't hurt the merch. Wild encounter here tonight, and it's been a crazy night. How about Eddie Kingston laying out Silas Young through that table? How about that tag team match before intermission with Davey Richards? Whew. How about mixed martial Archie? <laughs> <laughs> what a night here in Berwyn. AAW going strong through 2013. Is Callahan now back on the offense from what I can tell? Sorry, fans, we just can't see much from where we are up here in the, the crow's nest. Well, let the action speak for itself. I heard that. I heard a thudding chop. <laughs> and I think they're going on to 26th Street. This action, it speaks for itself. Whoa, there goes the curtains. Well, at least P.J. Drummond's out there on top of things. That is kind of his job. Here we go. The fight has gone all over the Eagles Club. It's like they're heading back to ringside now. What does Callahan have in mind? Oh, a miss at the top. <laughs> oh, the barricade. Sends him right back to ringside. What a moment here. Callahan standing amongst the fans. Hollister in a bad way, it looks like. Straight right hand. Hollister maybe looks like he's limping a little bit. I keep thinking that he's busted open, but that's just his hair. Death machine. Oh! oh. Sammy Callahan ruthless here. Oh no, out on the apron. Canadian territory, if you will. I call, it, I call it that because Kevin Cena and El Generico always did shit on the apron. <laughs> oh, just straight punches and kicks right to the mush. There's a 
big forearm almost sent, sent, sent Sammy flying there. Here they go. Oh, what a chop. Hollister really hanging in there, taking these big shots and giving them back. Mini shook step. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh no. Elbows, trying to free himself if he can. No! Death Valley driver on the ring apron. Unbelievable. Scarlett's beside herself. Drummond administers the count. Both men down here. You'll notice he's putting the double count on both of them. Sammy needs to get to his feet even though he inflicted the, the punishment. Hauser's down. Up at eight. That just shows you how much punishment Hollister has taken. He was up at eight. Oh, and another Jeez. vicious shot. Callahan looking for some plunder. He's got a chair. Watch out, PJ. Callahan still looking for plunder. Door number three. PJ's gonna eat one of those chairs. And we have a third chair. Three chairs now introduced into this match. And Scarlet. Scarlet. He's got a hold of her. Whoa. What did we say earlier about spitting? Oh, no. Ooh. Grabbing a hold of the foot of Callahan. Momentary distraction. Oh. Gave Hollister that opening. PJ immediately with the count. So they go now. Oh, and a big kick from Hollister. He's firmly in control now. After sending Callahan ribs first into that barricade. Hard to get up if he can't breathe. And again, he's working on the ribs. This might be key for Shane Hollister here. They sent him right into that steel barricade, ribs first. Referee P.J. Drummond checking on his condition here. Hollister staying on the attack. Callahan being battered. But ever since his debut, we've seen Callahan can take a tremendous amount of punishment, fans. The guy's almost not human. Count administered, but as soon as Hollister saw he was back at his feet, drove him into that barricade once again. Oh, and a hard kick. <laughs> Ow. Again, just leaving that roundhouse kick right on the chest. Hollister <laughs> looking confident. Air Russian leg sweep right into the barrier. Hollister in control of the matchup. But has he done enough to keep Sammy Callahan down for the 10 count? 
Not this time. Oh, he's back, up, back. back up at five. And back into the ring. Nice kick placed right behind the, uh, the neck there. Sammy having some trouble breathing. It's getting hard to take those breaths, and now he's standing right on him, trying to force the wind out of him. It's hard to breathe, but has he done enough damage to him, though? He's giving him, again, giving him time to shake off the effects while the referee counts. Drops an elbow. Got to wonder if Hollister actually thought he had the job done in the match one while well, he allowed him six seconds to recover right there. Shot to the ribs again. A precarious position here for Sammy Callahan. Oh! Right to the kidneys. Very confident Shane Hollister. We're halfway there. Looks like Sammy's gonna make it. Yeah, he, he's back up. Yeah. What a fight we are seeing here, fans. AEW Day of Defiance. Kelly are trying to find some energy. Headbutt. But Sammy staying on his feet. Roundhouse kick. Hard chop. Oh! oh! Vicious kick right to the side of the rib cage. Will that be enough to keep Callahan down for 10? We're about to find out. PJ with the count. He got all of that kick. Callahan trying to pull himself up. Up and over. Catches himself on the apron. Kick blocked. Blocked, blocked by, by Callahan Sean. too. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Diving Larian. He gets it. Watch over Callahan here! Oh my god! Sweet Jeebus! Both men hit hard! Both men hit hard! It's like a car crash! Sammy back on his feet here. Referee continuing the count on Shane Hollister. Oh, we got a fan jumping the guardrail here. No, that's Marcus Crane. It's Marcus Crane. Having virtually no effect. Marcus Crane through the crowd. Don't do it. No! Well, I would say, in my estimation, Marcus Crane brought that upon himself. Oh my goodness. That's what happens when you try to interfere in Sammy Callahan's match. Wow, man. He will not make it to his feet by the count of 10. Marcus Crane is done. For the evening, perhaps for life. Splat. Meanwhile, fans, Hollister's back up. This match continues. Wow. Here we go, both men in.
Grabs hold of Hollister. Headbutt. Vicious shot there from Callahan. Back and forth they go again, toe to toe. Solid forearm shot. Nice lifter there from Hollister. <laughs> Whoa, lighten him up here. Wow. That was just a slap right across the face. Hollister with a great combo now. Oh, and he went downstairs. Wow. Sammy went to block high, but Hollister went back to the ribs. That could be it. Referee administering the count. Callahan clutching those ribs, trying to fight his way back to his feet here. Oh. Vicious kicking here. Catches that one. He said no more kicks, man. Maybe one more. Has Hollister done enough to keep Callahan down for 10? Fans here in Berwyn encouraging him to get back to his feet. Oh, runs him right over. Hollister told him not to count. He's not done. Oh man, this is getting brutal. It's getting hard to watch. Right to that midsection repeatedly. Oh! More saliva, but more stopping to the midsection. Now it's unprotected elbows right to the head. Hollister has snapped here. Wow. Well, how do you deal with someone like Sammy Callahan? You have to be as crazy aggressive as Callahan is. And that's what Hollister's doing right now. Counts to four here. Five. To a count of six. I don't know, Prezak. He's trying. Starting to stir. Hollister not wasting any more time. Roll up. No pins, though. Oh! Nice kick from Callahan. Buying himself some time. Back to his feet now. Big Callahan will just not go away. Another lariat! Oh man, this this kid is so tough, Prezak. Oh no, Callahan gonna use that chair. Oh! Power bomb! He smacked his head on that chair. I don't think Hollister can get up after that. Barely moving his right arm. To a count of six. Eight. Up at nine. He's back up. Unbelievable. What's it gonna take? Hollister showing his toughness here. Getting back to his feet at a count of nine. Again with the chop, not so much behind it now. Very physical matchup, taking its toll on both wrestlers. Big right hand.
Alistair laying prone in the corner. Still have that chair in the center of the ring. Placing him up top. What's he thinking here? Gonna join him. Alistair does not want to go, I don't blame him. Trying his best to block. Clubbing down across the back of the neck and the head of Callahan, but who's gonna be able to get the advantage? Both men trying to find their footing. Elbows here from Hollister. Oh, he missed that one. Oh, my God! Well, Sammy won that exchange. Scary-looking plunge there. Able to hit that clothesline, and they went tumbling from the top rope down to the canvas. Unreal. With that chair. Oh! Does he have something in mind involving the plethora of chairs inside the ring? Evil intentions here from Callahan. And he's crazy too. What's this, Dan Lawrence? Whoa, whoa, what the hell is Dan Lawrence doing out here? Taking the attention of Sammy Callahan. Here's Cabana now. Oh, Cabana taking care of DL. Cabana lighting up Lawrence. Scarlet inside the ring, slapping oh. Callahan. Stretch muffler. Whoa! Wow! Oh, right in the face! Having no effect! Places that chair in position. Oh, the brain buster! Right on the chair! Will the brain buster on the chair be enough to keep him down for 10? Think about it though, Prazak. Marcus Crane's out. Dan Lawrence tried to help, he's out. Scarlett's out. Nobody left for Hollister now. Well now it's one on one. <laughs> Sammy, can he get there? Yes! Both men back up. Fans on their feet. Both men feeling the effects of this war thus far. Here we go. I don't know how they're doing it. I'm dumbfounded. Absolute war here at AAW tonight. Headbutt. I don't think you want to get in a headbutt war with Sammy Callahan. Oh, they double scissor kick. Both back to their feet. Double super kicks. Both men leaning on each other to stay up here. Unbelievable. Catches, Catches the, the kick. <laughs> Bicycle kick right up into the face.
Looking to finish the job. Oh, right on the throat. Repeatedly stomping down on him. Drummond administers the count. Halfway there. Callahan's up. Stopping the referee from continuing to count. He's got the chair. Alistair bleeding from the air really bad. Right to the midsection with the chair. And down across oh. the back very hard. It's getting hard to watch. Grabbing the other chair now. Here we go. Oh! House are bleeding from his ear really bad, I just noticed. Not only that, his leg. After all that damage with the chairs. Is this it? Has Sammy done enough damage? Oh, again! He can have a broken leg at this point. Oh, man. Sammy taking it to a new level here. Kick pads. More importantly, steel chairs. What does Sammy have in mind here? I think it's safe to say at this point, Hollister can't even walk if he wanted to. Wow, wow, wow. Well, this might do it. This might earn Sammy Callahan the victory here. The leg of Hollister trapped in that chair. Oh! Hollister had enough to get the, to get the kick in. Brain buster. Oh my God! Unbelievable! I, I'm. I'm speechless. The count is at seven. Hollister wins. Hollister wins. Wow, what a war of attrition. Callahan. One second, your winner, the new world man, Shane What am I supposed to do? Come in here and prove that I'm one hell of a singles wrestler as well? No, 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 you guys had a trick tonight. This right here says that my brother and I are the best tag team that AAW has to offer. And you're gonna put two smucks together? You're gonna put Lewis Linden and Marianne Fontaine together? You actually think that you guys can take these titles away from my brother and I? No, not a chance in hell. Oh, thank oh. God. Oh, one more thing. Man, 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 my feet are tired. 
<laughs> Been kicking ass all night. My poor feet. <laughs> AAW, what you got tonight was just a just a little taste of what Eddie Kingston can do. You see, what I what I've noticed in pro wrestling as of late is that everybody wants to go out there and have their five-star matches or have this guy or that guy see them become an entertainer. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not an entertainer. I'm just a fighter. I've been a fighter since the day I was born. Either it was fighting my father because I didn't want to come home at a certain time <laughs> or fighting the cops because they were chasing me through the woods because I was doing, you know, something a little illegal. <laughs> and then I get into pro wrestling and I see these guys and all they're doing is, you know, flip this, flip that, this cool, this is cool. Let me get the fans to chant match of the year and all this stuff. See, I could care less. I could care less if my match goes 20 minutes, an hour, three minutes, two minutes, as long as I win, because when I win, I get that good payday. You see, folks, instead of me putting a wrist lock on you, I'd rather punch you right in the mouth. It's more effective. So AAW, get ready. Because you know what? Tonight, like I said, was just a taste because you're going to get a lot more of Eddie Kingston. You're going to get a lot more of a fighter. You're going to get a lot more of a man who really does not care what people think. Boys in the back, get ready to get punched right in the mouth. Get ready. Eddie Kingston. Get at me, partner. <laughs> you know, in high school, I was always known as the girl who wasn't quite paying attention to everything that was going on around me. While my peers were dreaming of prom and graduation, I was dreaming about becoming a professional wrestler. My name in lights, ribbons being thrown at me, I was dreaming of that. And right now, after two years, only a mere two years in this business, it's coming true. I'm getting here, AAW, and I've enjoyed every single minute here, and I've learned and have grown just in the sh few short months I've been here. Tonight, I was in the ring with Miss Natural, and Miss Natural, while you thought I was thinking about my next way to beat you, I was absorbing every little thing that you were doing. So Miss Natural, next month, I want you in that ring, you and I, mano y mano, again. Because I want to show you exactly what I've learned. You know who remembers the guy that came in second place? The guy that came in second place. And see, me being the Heritage Champion makes me number one. But tonight, I lost. I, I took a pinfall by Kyle O'Reilly. So that kind of evens the playing field here. I beat you, you beat me, Kyle. And I think there's only one way to really settle this. Two out of three falls. I mean, why, why do anything else, Kyle? You feel that you're better than me, and I feel that I'm better than you. And I know it seems kind of weird that the champion challenges the challenger. But see, Kyle, I have an ego. And my ego is telling me that I can beat you. And I know that I can beat you. So the next time we are both in the same venue here in Illinois in Berwyn, I think it's only fair that we do this two out of three falls. And my friend, that is motivation. Cover that a little. So there's a legendary professional wrestling manager. Oh, that's yes, tonight. sir. We got a legendary manager. Awesome. Because every great group needs intellectual guidance. Mm. And we, yes, we are the greatest group of all. We fight ah. for liberty, justice, truth. Huh? Ah, yeah. Ah, ah. What do you think, sir? Ah. <coughs> 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 ah. Nice tie. Hey. 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 Yes, sir. I'm a big fan of you. you know? Everybody is. I love superheroes, you know? So you guys are interested in being led by the Punani Predator Truth Martini, huh? Absolutely, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me what you guys know about getting off. Getting off? I'm not sure I'm too familiar with that. How about the Hoopla Hotties? Oh, oh Hotties! Oh. That's something we can get on. <laughs> yeah! How about taking your pants off? Whoa! Um, I'm not wearing pants. 
Since I have you here, Truth, I'm, yeah. I'm very sorry. Uh, I'm very sorry we had to see that. Uh, let's talk about it. Last month I talked to you and you talked about the man that you got coming to AEW. Can you, tell, can you share a little bit more insight? Yeah, I'll give you actually a lot of insight. See, so far 2013 has been a great year for Truth Martini. I mean, mischief's now out of the picture and... Uh, I just had Joey Eastman on Hoopla and Cut, and I knocked his block off. But I still don't feel complete, because I am searching for that one man to be a part of the HLT. I mean, don't get me wrong, Jesse Emerson, Keith Walker, Danny Daniels, they were all good, 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 good wrestlers. But nowadays, that just doesn't cut it. I'm looking for somebody great, somebody that has the Hoopla running through his veins. And I found that man. <laughs> A.W. And I found him. And when you see him, you and everybody else, be prepared to take your pants off and get off. <laughs> first, first of all, it's not fantastic. It's fantastic. What's not fantastic is pretty much everything that's happened to me since I returned to AEW back in January. You see, I didn't come back here to change, you know, you know, the, the makeup of AEW. I didn't come back here to be stuck in a ring with disgusting creatures like Ryan Boz and, and, and the gentleman that rudely interrupted me this evening, Eddie Kingston, a man who's proud of being Puerto Rican. Puerto Rico is not even actually a country. It's a colony of America. He's a colonial. And I, I'm not going to soil myself and, and dirty my hands with teaching some heathen colonial savage like Eddie Kingston a lesson in civility every time I come out here. I'm, I'm a professional. I, I'm, I'm an artist. I'm a professional wrestler. I'm not a fighter, I'm, I'm not a street fighter, I'm not from the streets unlike people from Chicago, whether you're living on the streets or shooting people on the streets. As a matter of fact, about five people just got shot in the last 10 seconds in this stinking dump of a town. I'm a wrestler. I want to surround myself with, with gentlemen, with people looking for a professional wrestling contest. People who look like me, act like me, have my kind of style, my class. Guys that wear $400 pairs of sunglasses. Guys that can afford nice cashmere scarves from the, the finest haberdasheries in America. Guys that can afford nice clothing like this suit coat that costs more money than you people will ever make in your entire life. And, and so, you, you can come out, you can interrupt me, you can send whatever brute, whatever savage you have to the ring. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who they are, it doesn't matter whether they beat me, it doesn't matter whether they win, because they're going to be losers anyways. Matter of fact, this whole town is full of losers. And, and, and if you want examples, I can point them out to you. As a matter of fact, that's actually not a bad idea. Let, let's examine, let's, let's take a look at what's not fantastic about Chicago. Matter of fact, the only way this town will ever be fantastic is if I lived here, which that idea has some promise. How about that? How about Francois moves to Chicago and shows you, uh, you dirt balls here in the Midwest exactly what fantastic is all about? So if I were you, I'd stay tuned and see exactly what I mean by fantastic. Shane, it's been over two years since me and you have been in that ring 
one on one. Seventh anniversary. But I was a different man back then, Shane. I came in and you were the heritage champion and you beat me. But since then, I never lost the heritage title when I had it. And now you're looking at the heavyweight champion. See Shane, ever since I won this title, I knew this was coming. Ever since I won this title, you knew this was coming. Shane Hollister, Michael Elgin for the AAW Heavyweight Championship. See Shane, you go around saying that you're ready to be the heavyweight champion, but the question is, are you ready to beat Michael Elgin? Because when I look at a man like you, I look deep into his eyes and I see his soul and I can tell you, Shane, you're not ready. Shane, June 28th, you find out Michael Elgin is unbreakable and you realize that they say God created all men equal. They were wrong. As I sit here and think about tonight and feeling physically everything I'm feeling, my throat is... Uh, pretty beat up. Uh, my leg is very battered. Uh, and speaking of my leg, people want to know why Shane Hollister walks around with a chip on his shoulder or he's pissed off. I'm going to tell you a story of why I'm pissed off. Why I might be walking around with a chip on my shoulder. You know, there's this company that was gonna start up, uh, I think it was 2011. I was supposed to be there. The very first show, on this big show on the East Coast, I was supposed to be there. I broke my leg on a Sunday before the show it was on a Saturday. <clears throat> and that was gonna be my first time on the East Coast. It was gonna, Shane Alistair name was gonna go. And like when I broke my leg, I closed my eyes and it just was hoping that it, was, it wasn't real. Hoping that I was gonna wake up from a dream, a horrible dream. But no, it was real. Steel plate and 10 screws in my left leg, never coming out. That's there for life, for this business. People said I wasn't gonna come back. I did. Came back a better wrestler. I beat somebody I couldn't beat for a year straight, Eric Cannon. I beat him in 30 seconds for the Heritage Championship. Felt real good. But then again, like, I was kind of waiting for that phone call to be invited back to that company. I was supposed to be on the very first one. And I never got that phone call. So, again, good things are happening here in AEW, but like, Still waiting like for things to brighten up everywhere else. So I'm happy here. Everything's going great here. Uh, my first title defense, Austin Aries. Beat Austin Aries. Second title defense, oh, what do you know? Michael Elgin, that AAW heavyweight champion. I beat him. And then I beat Davy Richards. Nobody thought that was gonna happen. And all these things are happening and I still have no phone call. So I close my eyes and I bite my tongue. I say nothing. Frustration builds. <clears throat> it was getting to the point where like I wasn't, I was like kind of like stagnant I felt like in the wrestling business. I was like, here I am, I'm the heritage champion, but like I want more, I crave more. I'm seeing all these opportunities given to other people and where's mine? And it starts to build and build and build and build. And then like, you know, I lose the Heritage Championship. And again, I close my eyes and I bite my tongue. And it's just what I've been doing is close my eyes and bite my tongue. But now it's the point where I close my eyes. All I see is red. When I bite my tongue, all I taste is blood. And my whole career has been building up to this. I beat Sammy Callahan tonight one of the best in the world. So what does that make me? My AAW career is culminating. When I get my title shot, I promise everyone 
I won't disappoint. Another best in the world, Michael Elgin, will just fall to my known hands like everyone else. I can, I am.